Hello again. A few remarks about uh, the video I did before about installing this. I had a problem with the sensor. One of the cables gets ruined in the meantime. So I fixed that and now I have a clear power indication. That's how much the house is taking in, uh, in this moment. And uh, I really recommend to check the connection before and you should have around 170 ohms to have the right uh, to have the right power consumption and now you can hear that the fridge it's running so I have like 574 watts of power totally power uh, consumed by the house by the whole electronics and electrics in the house right now and something else about that arrow I told you in the sensor. I show you right now. You see the arrow on the main breaker. It's showing float. You know, it's showing the path of the current. This is the grid, and this is the house. So it's coming from the grid to the house. And the sensor should have the arrow, as you see here to the grid, towards the grid and that's for a clear indication if you put it the other way of course there is no harm to the machine but you'll have negative measuring uh, of power and of course the limiter is not working properly so uh, this is solved now I'm happy it's working and I have a clear uh, number about um, uh, how much power do I use uh, every minute and every hours and so on. I hope uh, this is helpful for you guys and uh, see you soon with some new projects. Bye bye